Hello everyone, welcome back to BioScholar. Today, we have an exciting topic to delve into. Muscle tissues. Our bodies are incredible machines, and muscle tissues play a pivotal role in making them work. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of muscle tissues, from their types to their functions. So, if you're ready, let's jump right in. First things first, what exactly are muscle tissues? Well, they're one of the four primary types of tissues in our bodies, along with epithelial, connective, and nervous tissues. Muscle tissues are unique because they allow us to move, maintain posture, and perform various functions. There are three main types of muscle tissue, skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. Let's start with skeletal muscle tissue. It's attached to our bones by tendons throughout our body. Under a microscope, it appears striated, giving it a striped or banded look. Importantly, skeletal muscles are under voluntary control. That means we can consciously decide when and how to move them. Skeletal muscles are responsible for all those physical activities we love, like walking, running, and lifting. Now, let's move on to smooth muscle tissue. It lines the walls of various internal organs, like the digestive tract and blood vessels. Unlike skeletal muscle, smooth muscle lacks striations and looks smooth under the microscope. Smooth muscles are involuntary, which means we can't consciously control them. Instead, they're regulated by the autonomic nervous system. Smooth muscles are the unsung heroes of our bodies, facilitating processes like digestion and regulating blood flow. And finally, cardiac muscle tissue. This specialized muscle is exclusively found in the heart. It's striated, similar to skeletal muscle, but with a distinctive branching pattern and intercalated discs. Cardiac muscle is also involuntary, but it has its electrical conduction system that regulates the heartbeat. The autonomic nervous system can influence it. The cardiac muscle's primary job is to keep our hearts beating, ensuring blood is pumped throughout our bodies to supply oxygen. Before we wrap up, let's touch on some key characteristics shared by all muscle tissues. Muscles respond to electrical or chemical signals. They can contract and generate force. Muscles return to their original shape after contracting. They can stretch without damage. Muscle cells are often referred to as muscle fibers. Skeletal muscles work in motor units, controlled by motor neurons. Muscles require a lot of ATP, to function. So, there you have it. A deep dive into the world of muscle tissues. These incredible tissues keep us moving, ensure our organs function, and keep our hearts beating in the case of cardiac muscle. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and click the bell icon for the most recent ones.